Hello lovelies, welcome to the channel. So today I have something for you that I haven't actually put up in a little while. I have a 12 by 12 scrapbook page today. Now my time on this lovely channel seems to have been monopolized. Is that how you say it? Monopol? No? I don't know. But basically taken up with um, new planner videos and art journaling, lots of art journaling. And I didn't realize that I haven't actually done a scrapbook video um, process video for you guys in a long time. Now, that's not to say that I don't scrapbook and do videos. I do. But I am on the Kidaholics design team. And I find that most of my scrapbooking uh, layouts are done for that. So I have to make sure that I put up much more for you guys as well. I, you know me, I love my mixed media. So... I'm starting with the packaging technique, which is a great way to put some color down on a, on a blank piece of cardstock. If you want to get started in mixed media, it's definitely a great way. To, it's a great way to start. And literally, you use some packaging, hence the packaging technique. It's just some packaging that um, some of your supplies have come in. I have a stash that stays on my desk when I unpack my things from my kits or when I buy new things, I keep the packaging. And then this is what I do. I pick my ink. So I picked a few colors um, that I thought would go with this photo. I've taken the blues and the greens from the photo. And using that as my inspiration, I went and got the Totally Rad um, scrapbooking collection. So I've recently redone my uh, craft room. So my papers and things are in uh, awesome, cool little shelves. And on one of my shelves, I have all my collections that I keep together. So I keep... All the things that I've bought from specific scrapbook collections, if I bought most of the line, I keep it all together so that I can, when I do something like this, just pick up the whole bag as you saw at the beginning, go through what I want and know that it all coordinates. So that's the way I'm doing it at the moment. We'll see how long that lasts, but I like it. I like having them all, all together. So I wanted to add a bit more to this background. So this lately has been my absolute favorite stamp. I love how grungy it is and it doesn't matter how you apply it. It looks like it's all going to go together perfectly because of the nature of the stamp. This is a case of craft stamp, but I'm not 100% sure what it's called. I might have to look that one up for you. But yeah, but it is a fantastic stamp. I'm using it without a block. I'm just putting it on my ink and then just slapping it down on my page. As you can see, I'm not slapping the whole thing down because I don't want that rectangle look. I just want it to look, you know, bits and pieces here and there. So you'll see that I'm rolling the stamp and just applying bits of it here and there. So now I'm going to lay on my photo. This is a photo of my oldest boy, Cooper, and we went to a, a family retreat back in April. I want to say, I think it was April and it was just me and the two boys. Uh, if you've watched my videos before, you will have heard me mention my boys have autism and this was put on by uh, one of the um, community service groups in our area, LifeBridge in our area, um, put together a family retreat for families with children with additional needs and we went down there for a few days and yeah, it was beautiful. It was a lot of fun and it was totally unplugged. Um, the boys couldn't get any service on their iPads and I had no service on my phone so it was totally unplugged and it was a lot of fun and this is just some of one of the many many awesome photos that I took and I love this picture of Koopy. It's a very rare picture of him actually looking at the camera so it just turned out really great and I really wanted to scrapbook it. So when I decided to sit down and do a video today for you guys I thought what photo can I use and I have a pile of photos on my desk and I was going through and this was one that I had printed off intending to scrap that I hadn't done yet. So I thought this would be perfect. So yeah, that's what I decided to scrap for you today. And it also fits in where I'm up to in my, in my album. So I'm just applying that on foam. So I've matted my um, photo on two pieces of pattern paper. I'm working really hard to just cut into two 12 by 12 pieces of paper. Normally I struggle with that because they're all too pretty and I don't want to use them up. But I'm lucky enough to have two lots of the paper for this collection. So I can cut into it and not feel sick and say, oh no, but I love those papers. So I do that. I've cut into, this is actually the same piece of 12 by 12 paper front and back. So I've cut into that and I've gone through the die cuts and decided to use the die cut words totally awesome as my title. I'm trying to decide where my title's going to go and I really liked it up on the side and then I thought no I've never actually put a title down the bottom so maybe that would be good. And I'm going through the die cuts to see what I can use to embellish this layout once I've put my title down. 
once I go through, I just I was going to put them up on that right hand side there next to the photo. I decided against it because I really liked my title up there. So in the end, once I've gone through and gotten some things out, I was thinking of putting some orange in to go with the collection pieces. In the end, I decided to stick with the blue and the greens because I just like the how light and fresh and watercolor it, it is. You know me, I love my watercolor look and I really love this background. This is where I decided to move my title. Now one on the side, but the totally wouldn't fit. So because I was determined to put it up there, I pick up my photo, thankfully didn't rip anything, and just move it over just a little bit so that my totally will fit in that white space right there. I wanted to bump up the awesome one because I wanted to put it half on my photo, well not half, just a small fraction on my photo and overlap it a bit, but you'll remember that I did bump up my photo on some craft foam. So I'm just using little random cut pieces of foam to pop under some of those letters just so it's all up on the same level and that gives some dimension to the layout and to my title which I really like the look of. I was attempting to use my tape runner you'll have noticed at the beginning there and then I remembered that it doesn't like to stick to the foam so I'm using um just double sided tape and then I decided to glue it because well this glue is really really good it's my favorite glue at the moment and I love the little bottle it's in but yeah um this glue works really well and dries really really firmly so that's why I've decided to use that and yeah just going to adhere down my title and then I'm going to work on embellishing my um, page so one of the 12 by 12 pieces has a whole bunch of cut apart pieces um, some 3 by 4 cards and then you know some of these little things here like banners and things like that I love that I think it's um, great to have those in the collection because it gives you more embellishments to play with and that's what I'm doing I've cut them up to use as an embellishment. I've gone through my washi tape because I don't use my washi tape nearly enough and I have mountains of it. So I'm making, trying to make an effort to use more and plus it just needed something in this bottom. I want, I like to do a, a bottom or top cluster if I've done a side cluster. Sort of, it sort of does that whole, you know, triangle, diagonal thing and just draws your eye around the layout. And I like to do one either down the bottom or up the top. So You'll notice when I actually did my background, I'd already decided to do um, that bottom cluster because there is some ink and some watercolour in that bottom as well. And when I picked this, love this um, arrow, I thought we need something to ground it to the bottom of the layout. So I got some washi tape out. And this washi tape just seemed to go really well. I think this might actually be from Kmart. It's either Kmart or Typo, one or the other. But I, have to, I can't quite remember because I have so much and I just don't use it. Going through the rest of the bits and pieces. Now this is why I like keeping the collection all together. Because instead of knowing I have it or forgetting I have it and not being able to find it. Um, it's all in the one bag. So I've gone through the wood veneer as well. And I love wood veneer chevrons. They're my absolute favourite. If I could get just an entire packet of these I really would. I love chevrons. They're just a great little embellishment. Especially on boy and masculine layouts. Because you know you can't always do hearts and flowers and you know all the other little things that are out but I just love chevrons they're one of my go-to's so these are some tiny words that I printed out from a printable that was online sometime a while ago and I was going to use those because I love tiny words but my favorite ones have disappeared off my desk I'm not too happy about that and um, I was going to use those but they're not cut I didn't I printed them but I didn't cut them so I had to go try and find the rest of my stash. I have, I do, I have a stash of these, but for some reason I've moved them when I cleaned up my desk and they're not in an easily accessible area. If you've watched my recent videos, you'll know that if I'm going to use it, it's got to be on my desk pretty much. That's why I tend to, before I do a layout, go and get everything first and put it down. Because once I sit down and start, if it's not within arm's reach, I'm not going to get up and go get it. So that's why my most used things say stay on my desk permanently. And these stickers are one of those, but I've moved them. So I had to go hunting for them because they just add the little finishing touches to a layout, I find. I really love just what they do. I use them in everything. I use them in my journal, my art journal, Project Life, everything. They're a great addition. They're one of my favorite embellishments. Now I'm just finishing off my layout with a hand-drawn border and that's going to be it. So I hope you've enjoyed my first scrapbook video in a while up on the channel. I will definitely do more, definitely one a week minimum, because I really need to get my album up to date. So thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you real soon with another video later in the week. Bye for now.